Hello. So imagine yourself enjoying this chocolate chip cookie with milk. It's heavenly. Watch and see how I made it. So here I have all my ingredients. And this is unsalted butter, one cup of butter at room temperature, white sugar, one cup, brown sugar, one cup, flour, three cups, salt, one and a half teaspoon. Remember, everything has to be at room temperature. Milk chocolate chip, one cup, white chocolate chip, one cup as well. Then you have your Oreo cookies. I use 10 pieces. You can use more if you like. Then baking soda, one teaspoon. Then guys, what is it? How can you achieve a good stuff without vanilla? Vanilla just makes everything wonderful. And you have two eggs at room temperature as well. See, um, when you break out your butter, it makes it easier to melt because we are not going to whip, we're going to melt. And this is your melted butter, not fully melted um, to give you that very nice gooey cookie. Um, I prefer to melt instead of mix. So you pour in your white sugar and um, mix it to incorporate some air and to make it a bit melted. Because remember the butter is warm so it kind of melts down the sugar. Then you had your brown sugar as well. You do the same thing. Whisk it to melt it both together. Marry the both sugar together. Then after this process, I like to whisk it a bit so that um, it breaks down and you hear the sound on your bowl mixing. Then you drop in um, your room temperature egg. Remember, your egg has to be at room temperature. At this point, the butter is cold. You drop the egg one after the other. Remember, that's the rule of baking because baking is a science. You don't put the two at the same time so that it doesn't get lumpy. I drop one at a time and whisk it together. In doing that, you are incorporating some, some air. Remember, your cookie doesn't really need air, but it needs to be fluffy as well. So I mix the two together. Then I had my vanilla. My vanilla is good quality vanilla, guys. Make sure your vanilla is of good quality. Um, so that it gives it that very nice and creamy taste then at this point i change to my wooden spatula i don't use my whisk when i'm adding my flour because sometimes you see that your flour gets eaten inside so i add my baking soda and i marry everything together so it's well incorporated into the dry mixture i add my dry mixture to my wet which makes it easy to mix remember we are not over mixing this if you over mix your cookie your cookie will end up being very gummy you don't want your cookies to be gummy so you fold you know you fold and mix gently you fold and cream gently you don't um, you don't mix it like you're mixing cake there's a big difference between when you're making cookies and when you're making cake um, the two is not the same um, it's not the same style and it's not the same method so i've mixed it together nicely then i had my milk chocolate mixed with a bit of dark chocolate here as you can see and um, my white chocolate to give it the, you know make the two look nice and the contrast of the white struck the brown you know it gives it one kind of nice look and the taste is different as well then you fold remember we are folding we are not mixing we are just folding nicely so that it doesn't grow gluten at this point we don't need gluten in our cookies remember we need the gluten in our other pastry but not in our cookies then i just break my oreo cookie i'm not going to grind it i'm just going to break it because i want to see the i want to see it come out in huge chunks you know if you grind it it the whole cookie will turn like kind of brownish or blackish but i'm just going to break it with my my fingers i use 10 at this point you can use more if you li really like oreos you can use more this i use the thin um, oreos because it kind of has like a better feel for me in cookie it's not overly heavy then i fold the two together you know because if the there's so much of cream in the oreo it will make your cookie too sweet okay so i folded everything together so that it's well incorporated remember i am folding i'm not mixing okay don't forget then i cover this to rest it has to rest for a while i let it rest for one hour in my freezer okay then this is it after coming out of the freezer it kind of hardened up a bit which makes it easier to scoop 
Um, some people will scoop before freezing, but I did it the other way around. And this is me using an ice cream scoop. You can use two spoons method to scoop the two at the same. Use two spoons to scoop. Um, if you don't have an ice cream scoop, scoop it on your baking sheet. Um, try to ensure that you have something at the bottom of your pan. I always use it for easy cleaning. You scoop it one after the other and make sure that it's well spaced because this cookie will spread. Okay. Spaces so that when it spreads, it has some, you know, some space. If the space is not enough, it will be all glooming together. And this is what I have um, from that. Then after this, I'll put it in my oven at 350 and I will bake it eight minutes. After eight minutes, I will turn the cookie. And this is your result, guys. Isn't this yummy? It's creamy, it's nice, it's gooey, it's out of this world. You know, I wish I could give you something to taste. And here is a freebie for you guys. Remember, I scooped my cookie. Okay, so after scooping it, I put it in the freezer again. And anytime you need to bake cookies, you can just, you know, come to this, put this in the freezer. And so you don't have to mix your cookie every time, you know, put it in the Ziploc and freeze the Ziploc. Make sure it's properly closed. You can also label it to remember the date, you know, keep it. And anytime you want to use it, just bring it out and put it on the baking sheet and bake. Okay, this is it. My daughter enjoying herself enjoying the cookie like it thank you so much mm -hmm. <laughs> have a good day it's so good bye and it's so gooey and it's even better freshly made you should definitely try out this recipe it's so good i'm gonna finish it <laughs>